Now, no more fucking around. It's Wild Style Radio. Wild Style Wild Radio. Style Radio. 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 What's up? Welcome back to the Stand Up and Shout Rock Show with Whisk and Kev. It's Friday. Friday Hot lights on Friday. Friday. Friday night metal night. Friday night metal night. And uh, we're welcoming back friends from a little while back, the Knuckleheads. We have some repeat guests that we love dearly. And we this is the first time that you guys have repeated. But you need to repeat more. I think that we could do yes. more with you guys. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I am all ears. We drum up. You know, some different games and, you know, kind of like goofy conversational kind of things. Okay. And that's okay. that's your next go round. I'm going to warn you. We'll have something okay. you know, kind awesome. of off, off the cuff that you're not expecting. Yeah, so that think, sounds awesome. I think you can yeah, handle yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 right, right. You blame me. I'm not prepared. I wasn't okay. prepared. <laughs> I got some ideas already that okay. would, would relate to the knucklehead specifically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'll say this too. Like, I feel we've interviewed a lot of bands and you're one of the ones we... we one of the sayings that we have is all roads lead back to kicks in a lot of our conversation. But in terms of like local music, all roads lead back to the knuckleheads. There's really? so many people that drop you guys and reference you guys. Like we That's play with awesome. the knuckleheads and we were out with the knuckleheads and because of the knuckleheads, like we're playing here. And yeah. So I don't know if you like, if you watch the show, you get a lot of mentions. That's really? Awesome. That's, That's, yeah. awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So welcome back. Third time at the Salisbury Center. Guys looking forward to it? Yes. Every show here is just awesome. I mean, it's it's always been amazing. So we're really glad to be back. Yeah. And I think the last time we talked to you was nearly, I would say, not a year, like eight months ago. That tracks you. Yeah. 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 Somewhere in there. I think it was the first, it was one of the first spotlights on Friday. And yes. Punk night. Yes. I think it was in like July. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just, no July no, was the local. We missed you guys at local pools. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Early. No, because remember, June was the release party and local pools was before that. So it might have been maybe over. Was it before? Uh, maybe a year ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, time goes by so oh, yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was in and around this time. So yeah. it's been almost a year. And yeah, so you guys have an album that was released. Yes. Right. right. So I want to talk about Catch us up on, you know, yeah. what you guys have been up to. So we've been uh, with school and everything. It's been hard to uh, schedule things, uh, but we're already writing new stuff. Uh, but yeah, we have our album out from the summer, Hillwood Avenue. Uh, we're, we're really happy about it. And uh, he fixed that and recorded the entire thing. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. And it's really cool to see that, you know, people dig it too. You know, people coming to the shows, dancing to the songs, singing along. Yeah. And I haven't even like posted the lyrics up yet. Like, I don't think I've written them down on Spotify. <laughs> so people who learn it, it's just like by ear. It's right. really amazing. Super old like, school. I understand. I was going to say, I understand that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's really amazing. We um, would have to pull out a cassette tape, like cover. If, if it had it. I was going to say, and it was a, it was a crap shoot. Like maybe it was there, maybe it wasn't. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So no, it's, it's been amazing. Uh, I mean the whole time, but you know, we're, yeah. we're really happy. Yeah. yeah. Was there a specific inspiration to this set of songs? Was there something that you were driving to, you know, to either the sound that you were going for or. It was kind of just a collection of songs that we've written up to that point. And yeah. you know, we decided on a number more of like, we kind of decided we wanted 14 songs and then yeah. we had like 16 and then we cut two. It was, there's no similarities about any of the songs. They're just kind of the, all the songs that we had written after the EP up to that point. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, you can see like common influences, themes in, you know, from song to song. So, uh -huh. um, but yeah, overall, like, you know, it's a, it's a blend of stuff. There's poppier, you know, there's the poppier punk side. There's some hardcore type stuff. There's, Punk metal -y type stuff scattered. It's, it, it's a bit all over the place. Uh -huh. but. We really tried to do just like what felt right. Sure. Uh, and obviously, you know, make stuff that we all like. Uh huh. So, because we like to be very open. If I write something that is bad, like I want Sam and Jaden to be like, dude, that's it's, it's not good. <laughs> so I told them that. Yeah. 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 Ask that. Is, is that a yes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did that sound like? What was the bad sound? What well, one time we were all kind of just. We were a little worked up, and and I remember Sam just told me like, Damien, it's not a good song, <laughs> and and I wasn't even gonna argue it because I was like, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. We should, <laughs> we should, we should change it up. <laughs> I think, like Sam said, we had the idea to do 14 songs, uh -huh. 
and that might have been i don't want to say a mistake but it, it, it was a little weird to yeah. work with such a Framework. A frame yeah that we all you know we almost had uh what we thought was a bad song on the album because of that uh but, but i think without that slot we wouldn't have had standing still yeah but that's because yeah, standing true. still went in place of that bad song okay so and now it's probably i think our it's one of our most popular songs john is back in the house <laughs> what's up john? john's yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i want to so talk about the sort of the recording the mixing process so did you guys go in an actual studio to record or how how did you go about the recording process so our practice space um shout out to barco rebar studios um it's out in falls church and it's run by i guess a good friend richard yeah richard He's super super cool um but we pretty much went into his space and um that's where we usually practice and it's got all the soundproofing and stuff so i pretty much just plop my drums in the middle of a room we mic'd them up and then that was the recording process as far as that goes and then just in terms of guitars it was an amp and then a mic in there okay the same room cool. yeah cool can i ask why 14 songs what's the magic of 14. i think um I mean, it felt complete kind of but also it was i think when we decided on the number we had maybe 10 or 12 already done and we still wanted to you know put some newer type stuff in it too. So we so we left a couple of extra spots open for stuff that we were still working on at the time. Gotcha. I don't think it was so much like the magic of the number specifically. Uh -huh. I think we got to a point when we were writing this album where we had 14 ideas uh -huh. and the way we imagined those 14 ideas, we were like, okay, this feels like an album. Uh -huh. Even though those 14 ideas, you know, didn't all make the album, uh -huh. we still thought, you know, the, the 14 at the time were, were gonna be it. And then, you know, we would go back and say, oh, no, this song doesn't work. And then we would just replace it with another. And that's how we came with 14. Nice, nice. And you mentioned you guys are already writing on writing a bunch of new material. So are you envisioning an EP, a, a full album? Do you have a set number of songs you're <laughs> you're working on for this one? No, this this time we have, like, no idea. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> I, always, I, always claim it's, I claim it's going to be an EP just because we're lazy. Um, <laughs> I'm lazy. Um, but... I know sometimes we think it could be an album it's with this collection of songs particularly it's they all kind of have a similar vibe but different they take influences from a bunch of other genres and kind of form this fusion of like punk mixed with other things so i guess punk fusion um <laughs> but yeah i mean we don't really have an idea of length or release date or just anything you know, at this point but yeah, i mean yeah it's so do you we have no idea are you are you so it sounds like this was a positive experience the recording process we're always here playing live and talking live and you know we're really in a live environment is that a, a good experience for you recording am i hearing that right or would you still rather be in the live environment i prefer the live environment but I, there i mean there were definitely some challenges with recording it's a lot different to play a 45 minute set than it is to sit down for seven eight hours at a yeah. time after you're getting off of work right and putting in drum tracks uh, I think my record for the amount of Red Bulls that I consumed in a night was probably like four or five. And then after that, I swore off of Red Bull. Uh, shameless monster plug. But, uh, he's, on, he's on the monster now. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was it was fun. I, I think I think Sam, you had it like the hard. Oh, I mean, you're doing drum tracks and you know recording drums. And anything having to do with drums in studio is just you know always very meticulous. But I th we had fun. Uh, we looked to making, you know, the next recording process more fun. And then, you know, huh? after that, more and more fun. Excellent. So, yeah. And it's you guys <laughs> and you guys are gigging a lot because, yeah, like we mentioned, you know, bands we're talking to yeah, bring you guys up. So between work and, and school, you mentioned school. So you guys are getting out, still doing a lot of shows, though. Yeah, we're, we're really trying to, you know, uh, looking at each other's schedules, seeing what days we're free to you know, just come out and have a show. Uh -huh. Is there any local bands that you're really into right now? Like, Max Zero. Max Zero. Max Zero. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Max we were Zero good. Great. Yeah. Um, we've been playing a lot of shows with Downer. Uh, uh, uh -huh. We have. It hasn't been announced yet. March 9th. We're going to be I playing with them. Just got announced. I was driving <laughs> over. And I, was yeah. I, I, I think, think you just announced it, Damien. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did just announce it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it felt weird to post it today. Uh -huh. yeah. That's gonna happen. And where's that going to be at? At a skate park. 
Yeah, Wakefield Skate Park. Yeah, it's in like okay. Annandale somewhere. Okay, yeah, that's you. Cool. Yeah, I read. I read the poster. <laughs> <laughs> the poster is they post like they tested. pull pull your mic just a little yeah. closer. Yeah. Oh, John, we lose Damien. Keep talking. Two. I was gonna say there it is. Oh, there, there we go. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. There he is. So I saw the poster being posted around, and no one ever sent. No one had sent it to us. So I'm like. You know, I didn't, it was kind of like, oh, I didn't know we were on this. <laughs> I mean, obviously we had like talked to the other bands about it, uh-huh. but it was still kind of weird to see, you know, a poster out that you didn't get. So, yeah. yeah, we yeah. About it see, even, even more people yeah. know about them. They're just putting them on I shows. Know, I know. No, I know. <laughs> I, I hope they don't get put on shows that like never have been brought up to us. That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> and people just start saying like, oh, they're going to play next Friday. And it's like, oh, well, <laughs> Is there's Mach Zero playing out there then too? Is it, yes. Are they there? Yeah. Are they on there? Yeah, they're yeah. on that bill. Oh, there you go. I am ninety-five percent certain that they're on that bill. All right. Yeah, it's them. Uh, a band called Harsh Intention and Downer. Okay. Yeah. It's Downer. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. So you're at the center of this like local scene that is building in the Northern Virginia area. This punk scene. I mean, how's that feel? It must feel amazing. It's it's crazy. It's, yeah. It is, yeah. It's it is really crazy. Uh, to, to think that you know people will think of us like as the center yeah i mean it's really a dream come true yeah yeah um, yeah i mean just thinking back to what i'm a sophomore in high school trying to like drive down to fredericksburg on a wednesday night to play a show to a room of three people to <laughs> our parents, and, <laughs> um, and pretty much play for like two bucks yeah it's it's kind of surreal to think that we've gotten this far in just like two years sure so, sure it's been a great great uh great journey yeah. yeah well that's i mean like i feel like your ear should be burning you know whenever we do like especially these nights these friday night metal nights because all roads do lead back to to you all because we get well we're you know this was mentioned to us by the knuckleheads or the knuckleheads told us about this night and this and they played this before and i mean we just so we haven't seen you all in a while and I didn't tell you that downstairs before we talked. I like to try to save as much as we can for this conversation. Right. So that's why I'm telling you now. No, I mean, you know, so this is incredible. viewed and recorded by all. So that's really incredible. Yeah, yeah. So I, I hopefully it's a plug for you guys too, because Kevin and I certainly know that we feel that we enjoy seeing you all live. We're going to enjoy it tonight, and we would recommend it for anybody else that wants to come out and watch. If you can't do it tonight, on another night, you got to see the Knuckleheads. Yeah. So in addition to March 9th, what other? Uh, any other shows you got up short there's, there's near future? In there's a no- oh, is there one in February? One in February. There's one next week. It's in uh, it, it's in Old Town Fairfax. Yes. It, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Also oh. with Mach Zero. Uh, all right. There's yeah. one we're not allowed to announce yet, but that's in March. That one's in March, but I I'm know not, that one. It's kind of weird because now maybe we're getting like big enough to the point where we can't like announce our shows at a certain point <laughs> like people are saying like hey we're gonna do this but you know don't announce it until this day and we're like oh okay. <laughs> so but well, lips well, are supposed to be sealed doesn't mean they always are <laughs> <laughs> right right i mean that's good it's good it's a lot of dates to remember yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're trying to do like one show a month at least of course to keep sure. us you know alive and Right. Sure. Keep people, you know, right. hanging out with us. And you feel that that interest in your new album then is being generated, like that is happening in your live shows. Are you seeing that? I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I, I've never released an album in this day and age, you know, on your streaming services. Are you seeing some traction there? Yes. Yeah. For sure. Good, oh, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Uh, I, I went around and I put our CDs in like local, like, like, like local record shops. Uh-huh. And I'll have people come up to be like, oh, I saw your CD at, uh, you know. CD sells. CD sells. Love it. And it's like, wow, you know, that's amazing to hear hear that. Yeah. I mean, you. I was talking about streaming and you went old school, so I get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, excellent. All right. Oh, Damien, you're asked to like get close to the mic again. Oh, I push it away. I know. <laughs> Sorry. I felt like I was too loud. I don't know what the people are hearing. Yeah. And remind everyone your uh, your social media connections. So if they want to check out what's where you guys are going to be, what's going on. All right. Uh, which camera? Which camera? I'm gonna, yeah, you get that one. Yes. The one right in front of you. Yes. I picked yeah. this one. Yeah. That, yeah. that one. That'll, That'll work. work. So our, our social media, we're, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook under just the knuckleheads underscore official. i oh, zooming in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're on Spotify. You wanted it. You asked for it. Okay. We're on Spotify. Uh, just search up the Knuckleheads Hillwood Avenue. That's a, uh, 
I'm not gonna spell it. I don't feel like spelling. <laughs> Avenue is abbreviated. It's A V E dot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're. I think we're everywhere. Um, <laughs> I like to think that we're everywhere. So right. hopefully you can find us anywhere you look. Yeah. Excellent. We are always in your field of view somehow. Hopefully. Right. Hopefully. Well, this is not the last conversation that we're going to have. We're, I hope not. We're looking oh. forward to the next one. Absolutely. And yeah, like, like I said, we want you as regular guests and we always appreciate your time and I'm glad you came up and talked to us tonight. Yeah. We're glad you guys invited us. Thank you. Always awesome. happy to be here. All right, and looking forward to the show, of course. Yep. So if you haven't got your tickets, you want to see some knuckleheads, get down here. You got to do it. Do it quick. Yeah. Because they're coming on in yeah. very short time. I was going to say, what, 45 minutes? 45 minutes. Yeah. 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 But yeah, thanks for stopping by. We're going to take another break, and we'll be chatting with another band here in a few minutes on the Stand Up and Shout Rock Show. Yeah.